made my last speech in Japanese, so this one goes out to the American fans. I come to take this tournament. I'm back. I'm here to show that pro wrestling is the strongest in the world. And I'm aiming for one man. Yoda, you're already dead. Oh my almost my own Shime. Yeah, pro wrestling is alive forever. Catch wrestling is alive forever. Thanks to this beautiful man right here, Mr. Josh Barnett. If you don't know, eventually you'll know. Hey guys. Welcome back to a mail day. We got some fun stuff for you here. Uh, we got some real good steals. We got some real good deals. They wouldn't be here if they weren't steals or deals. First up, we got a double lot of Panini Immaculate 2022. And these are... Andre Olowski mat cards. I got these for $11, including shipping. So, for two. Got one for me. Got one for a friend. Everybody's happy. It's a lot of fun when you can help people out. And then, I went on a Machida shopping spree. I love karate. It's my favorite. It's my favorite martial art. Uh, people underrate it. This guy showed that once you get a large amount of skills from other sports and you've seen them, Muay Thai, kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, um, once you start learning all of them and you have a background or you're a master in karate, it pays off. So... Here we got the base. Oh, here we got the green. Oh, here we got the blue. Oh, never mind. That's all. That's all we have for the. Um, these were all. Sorry, I got excited. Uh, those were all. I think these are knockout, maybe. And then I got this card for $2, and then I forgot that I won the bid. And then I bought oh, this card an hour later for $4. Um, so I'm going to give this card to the same person that I'm going to give this card too so they got super lucky just because every now and then i get two stoned um but this one is a gold so beautiful matte relic leoto machida number to 199 and then we still we're still going with machida we're still going machida style we're still we're still according to joe rogan we're still in the machida era this one is a Leota Machida title belt relic, which I've shown a couple of uh, recently on this channel. I think we got, what, Takanorigumi and um, Josie, Josie Aldo. And now we also have a uh, Leota Machida. Oh, you guys couldn't have guessed it. Who do we have next? Another... Leoto Machida, and I don't even know, this is a top certified autograph issue. This came in a lot with a bunch of Leoto Machida cards, and this one's numbered to 188. Tops Knockout, all right, so this one's out of Tops Knockout. By the way, guys, if you're going to have these cards, I... I got these in the mail and none of them had top loaders or penny sleeves on them. They were just all packed together. But thank God they were in good condition. Oh no. And as I say that, this one spills out of the 
fucking sleeve that I had it in. And this card is super thick. I had a hard time finding a sleeve for this one. And it was already messed up. Let's just take it out so we can see it. Um, so this is one of the um, patch cards. It's obviously just they made a bunch of patches and throw them, slapped them on a card. But it's, it's a good looking card. I love it. It's nice and thick. Um, little chip in the paint there, a little chip down here too. Um, obviously the corners are banged up. One of those might have been from when I just dropped it, but this thing, um, I already obviously looked at it before I did this video and, uh, it was pretty beat up. It was the most beat up out of the lot, but... Um, it's still a fun card to have, and I'm really happy that I got this card. I mean, I got, uh, a lot of, I mean, I got a lot of these three cards for 10 bucks. <laughs> so I got an autograph, a plate relic, and a, um, patch card, which I don't have any of, and it's also of my, probably my favorite fighter in the UFC ever, Leota Machida, so I'm gonna stop rambling on about my boy Leoto because we got a bunch of other stuff to go over. And that's the danger when you buy these cars online. You can kind of tell what kind of shape they're gonna be in, but you never really know until you get them home and you can actually see like all the stuff on them. To be honest, more times, uh, most of the time, I have good luck, and I'm very happy in the condition that the cards are in. So I've had very few times where I was upset with uh, the quality of the cards. All right, next up we have Mr. Anderson Silva, and this is a Goodwins Champions mini card. Uh, there's a few parallels to this. There's a black and a silver um, the Anderson Silver Mini Silver is super fucking expensive. I think I've only seen one or two of them online, so I think they're super, super short print. Um, but there are also bigger cards of this in the, I think this is the 2009 Goodwins Champions cards. And they also have, uh, Anderson and Chuck Liddell, um, and maybe Tito in good ones this year and they have both the large cards and the minis so you guys will probably see more of these coming up i think this i got this card literally for like a dollar plus ship like a dollar ship so two bucks totally um super super cheap um a little off-centered but really cool it's my first mini good ones card mma that i have so that's super exciting Uh, I think this is my first Dominic Cruz card. Uh, Brendan over at, M uh, what is it? Brendan Mania on YouTube. Uh, thanks for raising the price of all Dominic Cruz's cards 5,000%. Uh, I got lucky and I got this 20 out of 25 out of Museum for... I think four, 14 bucks, including shipping. So I got super lucky that uh, I don't I don't know maybe maybe I caught this the uh, two or three hours a day that that guy sleeps um, over there. But I stole one off him. I was super happy. Then we have my man. Alan the Talent Belcher. Bare knuckle boxing heavyweight champion of the world. He's looking to fight who? The Predator? Francis Ngano? Yeah, he wants a piece of him and he wants to get his knuckle in his face. Uh... I am hoping to get something very, very special of Alan Belcher here pretty soon. 
Um, I'm trying to work a deal with somebody on eBay for something that I've actually never seen on the internet that's related to, to, to a Topps Redemption, but it's not, it's not a card, guys. It's not a card. It might be something else. Wink, wink. Oh, I hope you guys didn't see that. I gotta cover it up. <clears throat> also bought a few graded cards. This is a 2019 Topps Chrome Peter Yawn rookie card. Graded Mint 9. Um, I was trying to figure out why it was graded that. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a giant thumbprint right here. And it's not on the case. It's on the inside of the card. If you look at an angle, you can see a big old fucking thumbprint right on the card. Like, why wouldn't you clean this perfectly? Why wouldn't you clean this perfectly centered Ricky card off before you send it to get graded? Just fucking wipe the thumbprint off. That's all you have to do. That's a 10. But instead, you got a 9. And then I bought it for four fucking dollars because you're stupid. So thank you. So thank you. Thank you for so thank you for being dumb. And I have to stare at this fucking thumbprint, but I got a beautiful Peter Yawn rookie card graded mint nine for fucking four dollars. Disrespectful. Here we go. 2010 Topps UFC poster review. Fully loaded. This card was fucking stacked. We had Randy Couture versus Pedro Rizzo. Probably the most deadly leg kicks I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's fucking saying something because I love guys with heavy leg kicks. And Pedro back in the day. Oh my God, they were just so, other than him and Crow Cop, Cro, him and Crow Cop had probably the nastiest leg kicks of all time. And then right underneath these guys, we have another two legends. We have Pat Militich from the Militich Fighting Systems against Carlos Newton. If you guys don't know, Carlos Newton should have been the lightweight champion of the world in the UFC. He caught Matt Hughes in a triangle choke. Matt Hughes picked him up against the cage. And then when Matt Hughes went unconscious, he slammed Carlos Newton down and Carlos Newton also went unconscious. So I think it was Herb Dean maybe? Might have been Herb Dean literally woke up Matt Hughes and told him he was the the champion of the world. And he was confused too. He's like, I won? He's just like, yeah, I won. Fuck yeah, I won. It's like, God damn, that sucks. But he won. Another guy on here. Sammy Schlitt. Kickboxer. I did not, I'm going to have to go back and see how many UFC fights he had because I did not remember that he had UFC fights, but he definitely had one. He might have had two. I'm going to have to go back through and see how this giant, how many fights this giant kickboxer had uh, in the UFC. We had Matt Lenwin versus Ricardo Almeida. We had Chuck Liddell versus fucking Kevin Randleman. and God rest his soul. Shoney Carter versus Matt Sarah, the spinning back fist heard round the world. I met Shoney Carter down in Columbus, Ohio. He was probably one of the coolest dudes I fucking ever met. And then after that, we had BJ Penn versus Joey Gil Gilbert. I don't remember him. And then some other two guys. But look at this fucking card. 
That's a fucking wild, awesome, fun card back in the day in Taj Mahal, Atlantic City, New Jersey. God damn, I love Atlantic City, New Jersey. What a fucking shithole. I've seen Kelly Pavlik fight three, three times in Atlantic City back when I was younger. God, that place is a shithole. But it's my shithole. I fucking loved Atlantic City. That place was so much fun. I digress. Now we have another SCG 2010 Tops UFC poster review. And this time we have the Dean of Mean, Keith Jardine, the movie star, the stuntman, the action, I almost said action figure, the action star versus... Quentin Rampage Jackson, who is now doing a Siamese boxing match in Fight Circus with Mr. Bob Sepp. Boob Sepp! Um, it's very confusing. I'm not going to talk about it a bunch because it's just, it's just, it's just so confusing. God damn. Alright. So, on this card we had... Obviously, the, what, one of the main reasons I bought this card is because I don't have a lot of Quentin Jackson stuff. And it's a graded card. And it's a parallel. And it's from 2010. But it's also from the card in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and I'm an Ohio boy. I love my Ohio boys. And there's a couple guys on here that I love. So we had Shane Carwin versus Gabriel Gonzaga. Fuck you, always and forever, Gabriel Gonzaga, for kicking fucking Crow Cop in the head. Fuck you. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Gabriel. Uh, we have my boy Matt Brown, Ohio boy, versus Pete Sell. We have another Ohio boy, Matt Hamill, versus Mark Munoz. Gray Maynard versus Jim Miller. Tanda McCroy versus some other guy. And brr, 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 we're not going to go through the rest, but... Love this card. And here we are. Here we are. We have another one of one, guys. I picked up another one of one sketch card from Topps Museum. And this time we have Yushin motherfucking Okami. Fucking Yushin Okami, guys. Look how awesome that is. He beat Anderson Silver. Just ask Chael Sonnen. He beat Anderson Silver. This guy is a fucking staple in MMA. He has fought in every organization outside of the UFC. He fought inside the UFC and had multiple battles. Um, is he still fighting? I don't know. I'm so embarrassed. I should have looked it up. I don't know if he's retired or if he's still fighting. I think he might have had a fight in one, one FC. Um, fuck. He can still go. He'll go. He'll go as long as he wants to go. Fuck it. And last but not least, we have a comic book. And I'm not much into comic books, but... I do love Deadpool. As a kid, he was my favorite comic book character. And even more than that, I love fucking Josh Barnett, the war master, the baby-faced assassin, the catch-as-catch-can wrestling expert. We're talking about a guy that is carrying on a very long tradition in wrestling that if it wasn't for him and maybe, I don't know, 30 or 40 more people in the world, there's a, a good chance that traditional professional wrestling and wrestling, traditional professional wrestling and, and catches catch can wrestling could, could have died. And 
there are so many positions and submissions in that that have legitimacy. It would have been a goddamn shame if all of that would have died and went to waste. So thank God for this man. Thank you, Josh Barnett. I wish all of your shit wasn't so expensive. Just because you're on a comic book card, I got this for $10. If this would have been any other card, your Japanese cards, any other bullshit, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. But since you're on a comic book, I can look at your beautiful face. Fuck it. We're out of here, guys. Fuck this. Godspeed. Party on. Fuck this. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, what are you, what are you supposed to say? Fuck. Uh, sorry. All right. We're coming back. Uh, hey everybody. Uh, if you like this, like, and subscribe or do the thumbs up or whatever the fuck you do.